in Charlie Hart's time. Charlie Hart was there. Was there with Whip? Charlie Hart was there. Uh, uh, Charlie Hart was there. Uh, he was a great headmaster. He must have been put up with people like me. But...
I was at the school for about 10 years and initially the school wasn't the most attractive place to be. In fact, I had the record of running away twice. But coming back, but in later years, I think when you get older you appreciate what good the school is doing. And it was very enjoyable. I thought that the licence visit for the 19, late 40s, 50s was one of the most, now on reflection, the most innovative schools in the country. Amazing variety of, of curriculum and I think we, many of us came out well rounded and with very useful experiences and uh, Ooh, I wish skills. You, gone, <laughs> you wish you'd gone there. I wish I'd gone Well you missed it, you see. You were there too late. What's he up to? Just talking about your hair. That's <laughs> I was enrolled, could you call it enrolled? Yes. Enrolled in 1935, 35. Uh, my first impression of them, this was the old, old school. It was a vast building, Victorian building, which I understand used to be a hotel at one time. And uh, the facade, uh, where you would have these in, in, immense sort of grounds in front of the building, uh, in 1935, when I was seven years old, all I can remember was the crows. Lots of, um, I don't know what you call a, a collection of crows, a gang of crows, a swarm of crows, I don't know. But I, that's the first impression I had of this school.